Good morning, church family. Pray all is well at your house today. Today we're starting the prayer of confession. And one of the verses that I like to start with is 1 John 1, 9. And it says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I believe this verse is for Christians. And continual confession of sin is an indication of our true salvation. Now, a false teacher would not do that. They would not confess their sins or admit to them. Not only that, but a Christian should forsake it, sin. For the scripture tells us, be ye holy as I am holy. What does confession mean? And I guess I'll put it pretty simple here. And it means to say the same thing about sin as God does to acknowledge his perspective about sin. We know from James 1, 13 and 14, it says that God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does God tempt any man, that we are drawn away by our own lust and own desires and enticed to a sense develops in our life. And one of the examples I like to use is concerning David, and of course we know David sin with Bathsheba and then having her husband Uriah killed. And that's out of 2 Samuel 12, uh, verses 1 through 15. Uh, I would ask that you read that today. It's a verses that a chapter that we've studied here recently. But if you would read that again, you'll see where God tells Nathan to go and confront David about his sin. And Nathan uses a parable. And in that parable, he, he talks about a poor man and a rich man. And after he's through with that parable, David gets angry and said, the rich man should be killed. Well, Nathan says, David, you are that man. And David realized that he needs to confess his sin. Did David realize he had sinned? Surely. But until this point and confronted with it, did he confess it? Now, from there, you can go to Psalm 51 and see the prayer of repentance of David concerning uh, this sin. And so, if you would look at that today, 2 Samuel 12, verses 1 through 15, and then uh, Psalm 51, and you'll see the story about David and repentance. Now, I pray that you enjoy the lesson today and uh, that you have a great day. And, May God bless you and keep you and keep safe, please.